Hi there, RC Girl here. Today I'm back with a video about my new RC battery charger, the HTRC touchscreen dual output charger from Amazon. I've been testing it out for the past week now. I think I've storage charged and charged over 30 batteries now. I wanted to make sure that it was something I wanted to share with you guys as far as a product that I could get behind. And I've been really impressed with it. The single output chargers I've been using, I think I've been using them for the past 10 years. So this definitely has some upgraded features of the ones that I've been using. Today I'm gonna go over what comes in the box, talk about some of the features, and show you guys how to use it. So if you two have been looking for a new RC charger, this could be a good option for you. Stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So make sure you guys like, subscribe if you wanna see more. Also head over to my Instagram and Facebook pages if you guys wanna see more behind the scenes stuff. I'll put a link to those in the description box below. One thing that caught my eye about this charger is that it was touchscreen. It's super user friendly. When it comes to RC batteries, I would say it's not my strong suit as far as where I have deep technical knowledge. I do know enough to get by and do it safely and also making sure that I'm taking good care of my LiPo batteries. I think this charger would be well suited for someone sort of in that similar boat. It's very intuitive and very easy to use. So let's zoom on in. I'll show you guys what comes in the box and let's charge some batteries. So this company is called HTRC, not super familiar with them, but I think they do have an Amazon store. So they make a couple different models. The one that I have is the T240 Duo. Let's take a look at some of the technical specs. I'm not gonna run through all of these, but if you are a battery nerd, this might be important to you. One thing to mention is that you can charge at both AC and DC input. So AC would be your standard plugging into a wall. DC would be if you're charging directly off of batteries. So say you're in the field and you want to charge off your car battery, your car battery is gonna give out 12 volts. So this would be perfect for hooking up into that. Another thing that I really like about this charger compared to the one that I'm using is that it has double the current output. So this will charge at 10 amps. The ones that I'm currently using are maxed out at five amps. So if I'm charging at 1C, I can charge up to a 10,000 milliamp battery, which is kind of crazy. I don't even have batteries of that capacity. You can charge up to six cells as well. Um, it's also compatible with smart batteries. So if you guys have smart batteries, it should do just fine. Another thing to mention is that you're not limited to just LiPos. It charges a lot of different battery types. Kind of cool. So here's what the charger looks like. Here's the touch screen. We'll turn it on in a second. These are your positive and your negative terminals. This is going to be where your balance ports plug into. It also has a port for temperature sensor, which is not included. Um, so this would be considered your channel one, and then this would be considered your channel two. So two different ports, two different batteries at the same time. The rest of the stuff that it comes with is all included here. This is gonna be your power cable that plugs into the wall. Next we have two balance port adapter boards. So this plugs in to your balance port here and it allows you to balance either two, three, four, five, or six S LiPos. You're gonna have one of these for each of your ports. And then it comes with a crap ton of cables here. I'll show you guys which ones that I'm using. They provide cables for a lot of different battery types. I use the XT60 ones here. These are like your old style. I think like the NICAD batteries used to use these or maybe they still do. I don't know, I don't use those batteries anymore. And then we have these alligator clip that allows you to clip on to a battery terminal. And then you have your Deans. So I'll show you guys how these plug in and which ones that I'm actually using from this. It also comes with a battery capacity checker. I think it also functions as a low voltage alarm if you wanna use it that way. Okay, let's plug it in. First, we're gonna take our power cable and plug it into the back of the charger. There is also an on and off switch here. Next, we're gonna plug our balance adapters into each port, making sure that you notice the notches here. You're gonna to wanna to grab these two, making sure that you plug it into the black and the red. One thing to mention, don't have your battery connected to this as you're plugging it in, because if you touch these to each other, you're gonna complete the circuit. I did that once and I got some sparks. Not good to do that. Since I don't use the Dean plugs for my batteries, I'm gonna grab the XT60 adapter for each of these. And we could just put these aside for now. 
now we're ready to charge. So let's look at the touch screen interface. First, you'll notice here you see channel one and channel two at the top. And so it's gonna have the same selection features for each port. So this is gonna be channel one, this is gonna be channel two. And then you see all the various battery types that it supports and all the functions within that. Um, you can also go adjust some of the settings. So like the buzzer volume, the low input voltage, the balance speed, and whether you're using AC or DC power. Um, and you can also have standard settings for each of the channels and it'll save those um, specific to channel one or channel two. You can do a calibration, you can monitor each of the cells in the batteries that you're charging, um, memory. I guess it has memory of each of the previous uh, charges that I've been doing. That's kind of cool. So let's select LiPo because that's the only function that I'm going to be using. If you look at the top here, you, you can either storage charge, you can just charge without balancing, which I would not recommend for LiPos. You can balance charge. That's pretty much the only way that I charge my batteries. And then you can also discharge your batteries. One thing, it auto detects the number of cells. So if you plug in a 2S or a 3S, it'll know that it's 2S and it'll know that it's 3S. You'll hear the fan kick on. One thing about this is the fan is a little bit loud, but I really don't mind that. It reminds me that the charger's on um, and also make sure that this does not overheat. And I've never had any heating issues with all the batteries that have been charging, which is really nice. So your end voltage for each cell is gonna be 4.2 unless you have a high voltage LiPo. The current charge, so you can adjust that based on your battery capacity. So for 2300 milliamp batteries charging at 1C, you're gonna set it to 2.3 amps. And then you select start. So let's hook in a battery and see what it looks like. Okay, so I have a three cell battery from Jen's Ace, and I also have a two cell battery that we're gonna charge um, concurrently. So first let's start with the 3S. Turn on the charger. We're gonna plug our port, our 3S battery, into the 3S balance port, and then plug it into our XT60 cable. So we're gonna go channel one. We're gonna select LiPo. It already has the cell count auto detected. Our end voltage is 4.2. And then our current charge, since this is a 4,300 milliamp battery, I'm gonna set it to 4.3, cause I'm gonna be charging at 1C. Okay and you go to start. So I don't have a sensor attached, so it says no sensor. Um, the fan usually kicks on right as you start. And then one thing that I really like too is if you click on cell, you can monitor what each of the cells are in the battery. Really cool. And then we're gonna do the same thing for channel two with our 2S LiPo. This is a 2S, so plug it into the 2S port. Channel two, go to LiPo. Auto detects 2S, our end voltage is 4.2. This is a 5,000 milliamp battery, so we're gonna go to five. And go start. Easy as that. And then again, you can monitor the cells. And then as you're charging, you can toggle between the channels to monitor each of the ports. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick look at my new RC battery charger. If you two are looking to upgrade your chargers, this could be a good option for you. I really like the dual ports. I really like the easy touchscreen interface. As I mentioned, I've been testing it out for the past week and I've been really happy with it. Two of these will replace all four of my chargers that I have in this like super heavy briefcase. This will be really easy to transport, easy to use out in the field, and it's at a really affordable price point. So I'll put a link to it in the description box below if you two wanna check it out. Another thing that I got on Amazon is this digital caliper. This is gonna be super helpful for my upcoming Capra build, which stay tuned for that. I got a Capra build series coming. Another thing I've been wanting to get into is airbrushing. And there's this cool airbrush kit on Amazon for painting RC bodies. So I might be bringing you guys some more Amazon RC stuff in the future. And I think that's it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. I'll see you later.